So you still get nervous for races, even after so many years in the team? Um, depends on. Um, after the Olympics uh, in London, I'm, I was never uh, so nervous as, as in London. Um, but when there's something like um, like Plovdiv, you're a little bit under pressure or so, then you're getting a little bit nervous. But it's it's not as much as in London. And um, for me, it's uh, when you're in at the at the start and you hear the signal, then it's then it's no no nerve. It's the energy is there, and then you're, you're focused on the race and um, yeah. I never, I never was so, so, so nervous. Yeah. yeah. Well, dear, even hearing you talk, my, my stomach is going in a knot because I remember, I remember the feeling of, of yeah. being that nervous on the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always um, uh, funny when you're rowing in, in, uh, on the regatta course before the regatta and they tested the, the system, the, the start system, and you hear the signal. And I think it's it's a little bit a special signal. You <laughs> you always um, be nervous when you hear this, and I think it will it will be also in 10, 20, 20 years when you hear this, and then you think, oh, now it's going up. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, Richard, I'm, what is the hardest training session that you do? The one that toughest for you? Mm, the hardest training session. It's. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's um, always rowing in the eight, and uh, when we are uh, make our um, um, st changing stroke um, rate, changing stroke rate, oh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we 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 change our um, stroke um, every five hundred meters, and um, from eighteen to twenty four or to twenty six then back to the uh, to eighteen and we always um, jump from the yeah. and then uh, it's it's and then we push really hard and this is going to be really, really tough and um, and we always race in the pair um, and make some time trials when we yeah. got as uh, three kilometers and uh, with limited rate and then um, move as fast as you can and uh, yeah this is uh, how yeah, yeah. we train always in the winter and it's it's this is really really tough yeah and then yeah. 2k Eric test I think it's <laughs> it's one of the hardest thing you ever have to do or you can do and um, yeah these are the, the toughest things. Yeah. Now, going back to when you started rowing, you were in the Olympics in Beijing in 2008. Um, were you a spare for that uh, yeah. competition? Yeah. Um, I started rowing, I think I was eight or something like that. And then there were the, um, the juniors. Then And then um, I was uh, in the national trails second. Yeah, and um, then I was not selected in for the A team because um, I don't know why, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then um, one year this was this was 2007, and um, then after the World Championships in uh, 2007, I was part of the team uh, of the A team, and um, I was also I think good, but uh, at the trials. Um, I was, um, I think, in the B final or so, and um, then I was selected as a spare. And um, there was also in Beijing there was a virus. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't know what uh, what what kind of and um, and two guys of our fourth were, um, Affected. were infected by the, this virus, so I moved in the four. After the heat, and um, so I I did the half final, yeah, and, uh, third I think, and then then we moved to the final. It was so crazy. I was twenty or twenty one, and uh, I was so oh, crazy. I'm in the, in the in the A final, but in the A final, then <laughs> we have no chance to win it. <laughs> yeah. Any chance? But this was 
t totally new for me and uh, I was so impressed by um, by the Olympics um, and I thought okay in four years I will be um, I'll be good enough to be uh, in in a crew or in a, in a boat and um, yeah and then I was selected in the eight at 2009 and since then I was in the eight yeah that must have been really important that win in 2009 because uh, you know in the Olympics the Canadians had won the, the title before and the German eight hadn't been so strong but uh, the new crew in 2009 to come back yeah. again, that must have been a good moment yeah it was t totally important because we changed everything um the eight was the last uh, was i think eighth or so in, in the olympic 2008 and um so we have to change everything we changed our uh, our rates program we changed our coach ralph Ortmeier was the new coach and um so it was it was important to to have a good result at the at the world championships to to see okay the way what we go is, is the, the right way and yeah. um we also um row and at the world at the first world uh, cups in the season also in the in the fourth and um we we won the i think this was the the world cup in munich munich the yeah. first world cup in munich and we won the the fourth and then second was the the second part of the eight in the fourth, and third was the British crew. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was clear, okay, we have a good, um, we had a good level, and now we can move in the eight and can and look what 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 the eight will be in this in the season. And so, um, yeah, it was important for us to be successful in this year, and um, and then we moved on every year. We. Uh, we, have, we we improve ourselves and try to be better technique and physically and um, yeah and this is this is the basic of the success uh, for the next yeah, ten years yeah yeah Richard I know you, you spend a lot of time you're an athlete representative and you are also on um, the international water uh, control for athletes why is that so important for you? Um, the first thing I'm the, the athlete speaker from from the German national team or from the German rowers um, because um, I think I can give some experience to other athletes and it's not always um, there's really really hard decisions especially when it's go to the Olympics who's be a part of which boat and um, yeah, and there's not always as clear as it seems. So um, the athletes are disappointed. They come to me. They ask. They ask what what they can do, and I try to help them. I try to I try to to talk to them to to help them, and I talk to the coaches, um, and I tr I try to um, yeah to to. That, that there's no unfairness. So and um, and why I'm so um, so invo involved in uh, in the Vada is because um, for me uh, it's it's important to have um, same conditions. And we in Germany we have also um, very strict and hard um, uh, controls of. of and the doping and um, there are some really really um, hard decisions also and um, when you look in other countries that's not so the yeah. same yeah. same yeah. things yeah. as we have when you look at not only the Russians are so many countries and um, for me it was important that um, that there's equalness and yeah. that they have the same um, anti-doping level as we have in Germany or in Europe and um, then because I want to have uh, fair and doping free games and um, it, I think it's totally unfair when you when you you train so hard and you do everything for for sport and for um, to reach a medal 
and then there's someone or um, a crew who's doping and uh, have this advantage and um, take the medal which belongs to you and yeah and this is totally unfair and i try to to improve that or to try to to do something to to make it equal 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 fight against um doping yeah. really important for me and um yeah it's it's uh as it's gonna be a long long way to to have uh free uh, doping free sports yeah. so um, that's really, yeah, that's really you have to you have to fight against it you 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 maybe you talked um ian weir who's watching he, he asked what do you think of the future of rowing at the olympics and some of the changes that have been proposed mm, i think um there will be no lightweights at the olympics uh in rowing and um Maybe coastal is gonna be uh, replace them, um, and when you hear it in uh, the Olympics in uh, 2028, it's it's they want to short. The, uh, yeah, that's I I I don't like it. I I think uh, in rowing regatta course have to be two two k's, and um, yeah, but. Um, yeah, it's, I think there, 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 there will be some changes. Um, maybe there's uh, mixed boats like uh, women and, and yeah. men come together. Um, yeah, but we will see. I hope, um, I hope it, it will be not this big changes. And um, yeah, we have to see. But um, yeah, for me, rowing is 2K. And um, the the big boat boat classes like the eight, the four, um, yeah. the double, and or a pair, and and the single are so so important. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, you can't discuss about this. I think yeah. it's important to have them. Um, you always have to um, think when you add some boat classes, but not um, um, close them because uh, or cancel them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hannah Smith plan has asked about your early racing and maybe a, a, a race early in your career that you were the most happy with that you can remember. Which which, which, which race? I I'm, 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 yeah. Mate, the, he he talks. He says maybe yes. We've spoken about the Olympic races, but what yeah. about early in your career? What was one of the races that you were most happy with? Yeah, it was 2012, yeah, and um, it was 2011, the race in Blade, the World Championships. And um, it was also very special uh, when I raced in the, in the four and at the World Cups and win them. And uh, for me, it's also very special to win the national trials. trials. Oh. It's um, it's it's really really cool when <laughs> you win them, and uh, yeah, and yeah, this, these are very really good good races for me. Um, yeah, these are these are important. And 2009 was also um, very important for my career because there was there starts the interna international success. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Richard, you are a, a, a husband and a father now. How has been um, those two things affected your life in rowing? <laughs> you don't sleep as much as <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's it's um, it's phenomenal to be a father because you're um, you're always um, yeah um, happy when you are back. Yeah at home and to see your daughter and um yeah it's it's but it's also hard tough because uh um yeah, sometimes you have you don't have this much sleep what you need and um especially in my situation when i'm uh try to to work at the um, on my phd and uh, train a lot and 
then you don't have enough time to your for your family. That's it's hard to to realize. Um, um, yeah, that's 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 the the problem is not not to be um, the the kind of or not to have this much time for the for the for your family. That's yeah. hard, but um, yeah, you know, okay, it's. At, at one at one point it's over. Then you are uh, all, then yeah. you are only the the father, and then it's good. But um, yeah, at the moment it's it's when you when you know okay you're the next nine months you're always in train camp. You don't see your 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 daughter. That's really really hard. And um, yeah, and 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 now my wife, especially my wife, is also pregnant again. Oh, so congratulations. Uh, thanks. Then, uh, um, yeah. Then it's also hard for for her because uh, she's uh, she's alone at home and have to handle us, and it's not so easy for for me to leave them in the train camp and always Skype with them. And so that's that's going to be tough. But um, that's that's how roaring is, and uh, yeah. I, and so um, yeah, we so try to do my best. Do my best. Did you take a holiday when you have a break? Do you take your holiday at home, or do you go do you go somewhere in Germany? I know you had two weeks off before. I think. Yeah, we we had two weeks of holidays in the summer, but uh, there was no possibility to 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 travel away, uh, because of Corona. And I was uh, with my family in uh, uh, in, in Trier, where I came from, by my parents, and um, yeah, and. Uh, it, after Rendsburg, we have also one week uh, off, and um, we will travel to the uh, north coast of Germany. Um, yeah, we even try to to make some family time, but um, it's not that much because uh, between them, I have to work a little bit, and yeah. Yeah, That's and and. We, we'll finish. Um, we'll finish our talk soon, Richard. I, I just wonder, um, what are you looking forward to next year? <laughs> yeah, we try to uh, to win a medal in, at the Olympics, and um, and we hope it will be the golden one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we do our best, and we have to say there are so much impressive um, competitors. Like the Dutch crew, like the GB Rowing um, Eight, and then the US, the Australians are also very good, and maybe the, the um, New Zealand crew. So that's going to be very, very tough and um, very, very hard races. Yeah, Richard, it's been fantastic talking to you this morning. You've been yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, so great. Your English has been superb. Really, yeah. really good to talk to. Uh, okay thank you very much and um, I, I wish you the very best and I hope you finish the Regensburg Ring, Cup with eight men this year uh, I hope also <laughs> thank you very much thank you bye bye